Hi guys, it's Dave B here from the Affiliate Niche Club. Um, there's been a lot of talk about uh, content being ripped off uh, right across the internet, uh, articles, um, blog posts, uh, all sorts of things really. Um, what I want you to, what I want to do today is show you a way that uh, you can do it um, quite legally. It's not stealing content at all, and it allows you to have uh, constant uh, refresh content on your sites uh, or blogs. Um, what I'll do first is show you what I mean in action. Um, basically it's using RSS feeds uh, from various sites and blogs that you can add to your own sites as well and people are perfectly happy for you to do this uh, and I'll show you uh, what I mean now. Uh, but first uh, before I give you a demonstration uh, there are a lot of sites uh, out there, if we look at uh, Google itself now, and we, and we just search on uh, RSS to JavaScript sites, that's what you need to do to get this into action. There's an awful lot of sites that uh, offer this service, uh, but if we, if we just have a look at the first one, you can see here, straight away, the very first thing you notice here, this, this service is not guaranteed and is likely to go away uh, and that's the problem we've had in the past using sites like this and um, I would now suggest that you don't use sites like this but use uh, what is suggested here and that's a very good alternative from Google and it's called Google's Ajax feed appy uh, and I'll just show you what it looks like in practice uh, if we just now pop to the affiliate niche club blog here uh, I've got a page here that uh, is all about business news, uh, topical business news, quite interested in what's happening in the world around us. Uh, and you'll notice that we're using uh, the Google Ajax feed appy, and this is what it looks like down here. Uh, it's quite a fancy looking thing, but it's uh, very easy to install, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. As you can see here, I've got news from the Daily Telegraph uh, and uh, also the New York Times and the Huffington Post. And um, there's no limit really to uh, how many different things you can add using this. Um, another place we use it on as well is uh, within the uh, Affiliate Niche Club uh, member site. This is actually inside the member site itself. Um, one of the uh, the pages we've got uh, within here is uh, a direct feed from the blog that is updated using uh, Google's Ajax feed app. So any new posts that I add to the blog are also updated automatically for uh, our members. Um, should they not uh, visit the blog, they can see it straight from here. Um, so let let's get straight on and have a look at uh, how you implement this and basically you go to uh, Google's Ajax feed appy site um, I'll put all the URLs and everything in the PDF if you can't quite uh, read them here which you won't be able to very well and it takes you um, to this page here it's very simple to do now uh, you simply hit the start start the wizard button you can go into the uh, the programming if you want to and we will have a look at a little bit of the code later on but for now the easiest thing to do is just start the wizard and you'll see this comes up uh, automatically um, with the feed control wizard uh, on how to put feeds on your web page okay and this is the default that comes up here and you'll notice that there's already uh, different expressions in here of the type of feeds that it's going to look for and we've got people e online uh, and TMZ whatever that is and uh, there's different options here that you can customize uh, it's the default is the horizontal one and you'll notice down here that there are stories from these different expressions um, feeding through um, every few seconds or so now I don't think this particular layout is particularly very good uh, you can use a vertical one which you can see over here which is currently showing the people feed and is scrolling through 
those uh, it, show, it shows four feeds uh, and one at the top but I particularly like the vertical stacked option where it shows you all three of the different options uh, you've picked uh, and it'll scroll all the way through them now to customize it yourself uh, let's say um, as an example um, you want to do um, you've got a site on uh, stock trading okay and you want to add an interesting page to that site that has various feeds um, so what you can do is literally put in uh, stock trading here into the feeds expression um, you might want also to have uh, news about the FTSE and the Dow here and if you hit now hit preview okay you'll see that it's now changed over here it's now headed up stock trading um, we've got some feeds coming through here that uh, are obviously clearly uh, about uh, trading stocks we'll have a look in a minute where that feed is coming from we've got a feed here that is to do with stories about uh, what's happening uh, in the UK market that will impact the FTSE um, something about our friend Darling uh, the budget yesterday and Wall Street holding the FTSE back and we've got some stories from the Dow as well so an interesting page to add to your site and to uh, possibly assist your research as well now all you need to do is scroll down a bit and hit generate code it's as simple as that and that generates the code that you're going to put on your site as ever code looks very complicated don't get hung up about it um, and all you do is copy that code and put it on your site but uh, before we do that and again I'll highlight this more in the PDF is let's just have a look here if th this particular section here shows you where the feeds are coming from and you can see here that the stock trading feed that we selected is picking up uh, Google has decided this itself it's picking it up from www.stocktradingtogo.com feed the FTSE one is coming from the Guardian that's uh, one of the main papers in the UK uh, the Dow feed is coming from uh, businesscbs5.com uh, okay that's the feed now I'm showing you that because the point is you can if you've come across a particular feed that you want to add you can subsequently go in uh, later and amend this code and simply change the URLs to the particular feed you want so if we briefly pop back to the blog um, the feed that I've got here showing for each of those is taken directly from the Daily Telegraph's website in this example basically you go to the page you want and you get the RSS feed by clicking on the orange button like that whenever you've got a page open if you see that it's got a feed and you can use it and you can add it in to your Google Ajax feed appy code here so all you do is grab all of the code like that I'm not going to go into Dreamweaver or show you anything complicated like that but if we go back onto our, our page in the affiliate niche club member site on our blog page you would simply add that code right under there and it'll feed through and uh, show you your um, Google Appy feed uh, whatever it is you've selected uh, it's a perfectly legal way to do it um, it's very good I think it's um, it looks good it, um, it keeps your site interesting and topical and it really does help your research uh, yourself if you actually read some of these stories uh, you will come up with uh, some hot ideas possibly some new keyword ideas um, all sorts of things really uh, that can add interest to your site uh, bring repeat visitors to your site as well which is always important